you know, you've heard what the reports are. Do you believe this is actually true? President Trump shining some skepticism on this. I mean, it seems, you know, some people say this is the textbook definition of a coup, if it's true. Look, the fact pattern is given. General Milley has undermined and subverted President Trump in office after the president restored order in Washington, D.C., after an attempt was made to firebomb St. John's Episcopal Church, the presidential church, one block from the White House, Milley made a statement afterwards saying he apologized for being seen with his commander-in-chief as they walked to that church. Then he proceeded to make political statements. You can see the amazing clips um, that Greg Kelly played on his show yesterday, where he made political statements in uniform about the United States. This is a man who said in testimony that he is fine with bigoted racist theories like critical race theory being taught at West Point. So this, this isn't a soldier. This is definitely not a general. This is a political activist who is on the side of those who wish to undermine the MAGA movement and the will of the American people. Let's remember, the Americans chose Donald Trump. There's only one commander in chief in right, the United right. States. And the National Security Act that created the Joint Chiefs, that created the office of the chairman, is explicit. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs has zero command authority, none. He's a military advisor to the commander in chief. And the chain of command goes from the president right. to the secretary of defense, period. If this man, if I had called up the Chinese PLA, the People's Liberation Army, to give them, I don't know, a, a piece Anything. of technology, a secure piece of equipment. I should be in a federal supermax for the rest of my life. Here, we have this statement from his press secretary moments ago admitting that he was talking to his counterparts. That's not your job. Warning the Chinese of fake things you are propagating about the commander-in-chief is the definition of treason, aiding and abetting our enemies. This man has to be arrested, investigated, and if he's found guilty, locked away. Now, we do know that he will appear before Congress in a couple of weeks to testify. You know, the other thing, too, here, we'll put that issue aside. Obviously, that's a big issue, but we also have this issue of the drone strike that is going to cause a lot of problems for us, uh, for the United States and a foreign policy front. And we still have the most recent comments from Milley on this. He called this a righteous strike. And here he is speaking about that. Were there others killed? Yes, there are others killed. Who they are, we don't know. Uh, we'll try to sort through all that. Uh, but we believe that the procedures at this point, I don't want to influence the outcome of an investigation. Um, but at this point, we think that the procedures were correctly followed. and it's a righteous strike. Now, they're firing Sean Spicer, they're firing Kellyanne Conway from these advisory positions at the uh, service academies. There's more accountability for those posts than there is at the Pentagon right now. <laughs> they're not firing them because I know Sean. I saw him yesterday morning. He's not going anywhere. Those are pre presidential appointees. I myself was appointed to the Pentagon's National Security Education Board. You try and fire me, Biden, <laughs> you just bring it. You just bring it, you sad, senile old man. So, yes, look, the drone the drone strike is an irrelevance. I mean, pray for the souls of the innocent killed. But, but that's a distraction. That's a red herring. We're talking about Millie allowing, agreeing to the surrender of Afghanistan. Bagram Airfield is the most strategic airfield in the whole theater. Yeah. 31 uh, uh, acres. You can park 21 C-70s, two strategic runways. Now we have nothing. There is no... Biden talks about over-the-horizon capability. There is no over-the-horizon capabilities. You can't fly a UAV from Nevada to Central Asia. It's a crock. It's a lie. And Millie was part of that surrender. You got the 13 Americans killed. You got the issue with Bagram Air Force Base. I would disagree with you. I do think the drone strike is relevant because it speaks with those other things to the level of incompetency that we see see oh, with yeah. this administration from, from here. No, 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 yeah. totally. From a negative perspective, right. yes, but quoting Millie on the drone strike when he's potentially guilty of treason, that's what I'm talking about, priorities. We have the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, the most senior military officer in the United States, potentially colluding with communist China. Now that's the story. That is a big story. And again, this is coming from a book that hasn't been released yet. But I think the statement in itself 
is pretty telling too that's just been released as yes. to whether or not this is a true account. Uh, a very specialized and kind of a long statement. You could have just issued this did not happen, period, full stop, but they didn't do that. That's about a four paragraph statement. Very It's specific. not a denial. Yeah, not a denial. It's not a denial. Not a denial at all. That, that's the key thing. It's, it's classic Washington swamp speak to try and cover their backsides. And it means that, yes, Milley spoke to the Chinese communist military in subversion, doing an end run around the chain of command. Yeah. And that statement is very, very telling. All right. It's going to be an interesting hearing in a couple of weeks when we do see General Milley again. Sebastian, we will see you on the Reality Check, as always, and listen to you on the radio. Great to talk to you. God bless, thank you. All right, Sebastian Gork. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.